Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ace Wave here, and today this is gonna this is gonna be the first part in a series I call "What Is Fortnite Character Canon." In this series, I'm gonna be taking one character or group of characters from the Fortnite storyline and explaining their importance in the story, and what the meaning of them is, and what actions they have in the story. I'm going to start with a minor character that isn't too important at the moment, but used to be one of the minor characters. Is the character of Hybrid, from Chapter 1, Season 8's Battle Pass. Well, I um, hope you enjoy this, because Hybrid's one of my personal favorite skins, and I think you'll kind of like the story of the skin. So, let's get into it. So Hybrid is one of the loyal servants to a character in the Fortnite storyline known as the Prisoner. Many people assume he also goes by the title Fire King because his counterpart cat skin is known as the Ice King. Hybrid is the loyal servant of the Fire King as he is normally seen as like the grunt of the group. Think of the IO guards or henchmen. Those were kind of the roles the Hybrid took in. The took took the place of, yeah. They were innate. If they're actually one of the few characters in the storyline who originate from Reality Zero, or the Fortnite Island in the story, which makes them one of the more interesting groups, as most citizens of the islands are taken from other realities. So with the hybrids being originating from the Reality Zero, at least to what we know of. It kind of shows us what many of the species of Reality Zero are like. Considering that one of them is this nin is this dragon, human, lizard, whatever they are, species. The first time we see the hybrid species is actually one of the is some of the eggs back in Fortnite Chapter One, Season Seven, in the Ice King's castle. But at the time, this was just their eggs. It's likely the blue and purple styles for the hybrid outfit and scales are likely a reference to this detail. Back then, we didn't really know much about the storyline, but there were a few interesting things. Like how the hybrids do have a few higher-ups other than the Fire King. If I remember correctly, one of the name is Ember, and the other one's name is Ruin. Probably will get their own video if I ever do the entire Fire group. From chapter 1, but that'll probably only ever be if they get more importance in the story. We actually see Hybrid fight a character going by the name Master Key. Master Key has recently had a leaked new version of his skin, which seems to work for the IO, which implies that the Fire King and his servants, including the Hybrid, are actually an enemy of the IO. The hybrids are also a member of a brood, which, since there's actually more than one of them. For all we know, there could be hundreds of them. Like how the IO guards, uh, there are hundreds of them. <coughs> it's unknown how so many of them came to about, but all we know is that the Fire King and the Ice King respectively had their eggs in their castle of Volcano back in Chapter 1. But it seems that some of them might be immune to the loop, same with the Fire King and Ice King. I personally believe this is because they, are, they originate from Reality Zero, and that some of them were actually born on the island itself. It's unknown if this is 100% correct, as this is just my own theory, but uh, it's a possibility. It has been seen that the hybrids are, norm are quite loyal, as they are only serve the Fire King. They have never been seen once serving other characters. And they will often attack in packs like an animal would. Which would make sense considering their half-human, half-lizard-like creature appearance. It's, un it's unknown exactly how the Fire King and Ice King respectively got them. It's believed that the Fire King stole the eggs from the Ice King, but it's unknown how he got them. There are many theories for this detail, but we can never know tr what really happened in their origin. 
but there is still quite an interesting detail, as their existence is interesting in the story itself. Natural residents of Reality Zero. With Reality Zero, of course, being the one the Fortnite Island actually exists in. But since most inhabitants of the Fortnite Island are taken from other universes, with each person having somewhere to go afterwards, the hybrids being born on the island means they are either immune to the loop, which would ex kind of explain their aging in comparison to every other character, that or they're born the way you see them, which I would be very much questioning, but I personally don't believe that they're immune to aging. It is an interesting detail to be brought up, that's the Fort Master Key before. With this new variant being a member of the IO, if we assume that's the same Master Key, similar to how the snapshots with Joan Jones work, we could possibly s believe that that Master Key was the original one before there was a snapshot of him made. I would explain a few things about the character. But this would mean that the hybrids, and more importantly the Fire King, were trying to attack the IO in the jungle for a key that Master Key was holding. It's possible this key could have been a way of opening the vaults back then, as the only other time we've actually seen one open is during Chapter 2, and they could have changed their way of opening it. So, it's possible that key could have opened it, and the hybrids and the Lord the Fi and the Fire King were trying to get into the IO's base. It's unknown for what reason, but there could be many. The f but the hybrids have uh, quite a few different scale colors, as I showed at the beginning of the video. It's unknown why they have all these different scale colors. It's nothing really important, it's just something I thought I'd bring up. But they do all also share the same lightning ability, similar to characters like Drift. And since it seems that their color schemes are also dependent on the scales, along with the lightning seem to be linked with each other. Like, the crimson color of scales will have a different color of lightning, same with each of them. It's possible that this lightning and other things could possibly be the thing making them immune to the loop. It would also explain other characters like Drift escaping the loop, being able to do whatever they want inside of the older parts of this chapter one, and the later seasons and chapters. But these little details would help explain how characters like Hybrid and the others work within the Fortnite storyline, as it seems that any character with a self-contained suit or a rift gun is immune to the loop, but so far every character with a lightning-based ability hasn't seemed to have much effect by the loop either. So it's my, yet again, my own personal theory that those with their lightning ability or something similar could possibly be immune to the loop as well. We've seen many characters escape the loop, yes, but many, there have been hundreds of victories inside the canon of Fortnite, yet we barely see any residents on the actual island, which are the people who have escaped the loop. Except for characters like the hybrids at back during their season because they keep hunting people down and many of the NPCs. Well, um, this is all I truly know about the character of hybrid. And if you know anything else you think would be interesting to mention, please leave it in the comments. But for now, that's it on the first episode of Fortnite Character Canon. Well, what is Fortnite Character Canon to be exact? But, yeah, please tell me if you would like to see another character, maybe one that has more story to it. But until then, I'll see you all next. I hope you all have a good day and a good life. Goodbye!